Thanks everyone for tuning in to day eight of the 31 faces of Halloween that I'm doing and as you notice it's a creepy clown. Now I need to start off with a little PSA and then afterwards you'll see how I did this face and how you can recreate it yourself. There's a clown scare going around and most of it is the public's fault and not really the clown's fault. I know that sounds weird but think of it this way. If you don't like clowns don't go near them. You know? Clowns are creepy. They've always been creepy. They've made movies about them. Killer clowns from outer space. It. Uh, so many more. 31 uh, with zombies and stuff. But there's also clowns. You know, you have Captain Spaulding. And all this. But the bad thing is, a lot of these creepy clowns, very little of them are actually doing anything wrong. Most of them are just creeping people out and minding their own business in the side of the woods. All these false reports of people being lured into the woods, kids with candy and women being lured in, none of them have been actually corroborated by any evidence. It's all hearsay. So the fact of the matter is, if you see a clown on the side of the road, the best thing to do is to ignore it and leave it alone, unless that clown comes up to you. If that clown comes up to you, immediately dial 911 and let the police handle it. The police, on their end, need to investigate the situations also. And they don't need to be arresting clowns, especially this time of the year, which is Halloween. It's just ridiculous. So the biggest thing is, if you see a clown on the side of the road, and they're not at a festival, or by a haunt, or anything that's going on this year with entertainment, then call 911 if they come up to you. That's all you need to do. Just leave them alone. Ignore it. The fear mongering has to stop. And if you are in a state or if you have a concealed carry permit, leave your guns alone. Do not shoot these individuals. You will be in more trouble than they are for being out there scaring people. We do not need any more violence. We do not need more death. Because you feel you're afraid, you have to confront something you're afraid of and kill it. That's wrong. That's idiotic. Don't do it. Okay? So just ignore the clowns. Leave them alone. There are a lot of great clowns that aren't creepy, that do things for kids, that do parties, that are entertainers, and they are suffering because of the fear-mongering of the public. If you don't like clowns, stay away from them. If you see a clown on the side of the road, stay away from them. If they approach you, dial 911. That's it. Other than that, don't do anything. If they're chasing you, run like hell. Of course. But don't do anything. You're causing more of a problem than there needs to be. It will go away. Just like everything else. Alright, so... Now, if you want to see how I did this video, stay tuned, because here it comes. Okay, so we're starting off with a base. Nice white. I'm using Paradise White. And then I'm going to cover the whole face white. Don't worry if it looks splotchy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now that I have the white on, I'm going to take some fab gray, dark gray that I have, and I'm going to carve out all the features I want in this scary clown. Start off with the eye. Even though I'm going to have some blue in the eye. I need to carve out the feature of it.
like I said, it doesn't have to be too perfect. We're making this a creepy clown. So we want to start off with this really messed up face looking thing. Okay. Then we're going to start outlining areas. And I'm going to go in with some red. We're going to go in with the nose. And we're going to round out, kind of following the nose. We're going to fill in those areas. And then we're going to kind of round it up. Don't worry if it blends in with the white a little bit. You can always deepen it and darken it, which I'm going to do after I'm done. And I'm going to overdraw my lips a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I'm going to overdraw my lips a lot. Smile. Make it that much more creepy. Make sure it's all filled in. <laughs> ah! Now I'm going to go in with some dark blue. I'm going to give myself some eyeshadow. Just gonna underline the eye a little bit and then I'm gonna smudge it out with my finger. Give a little redness. Puffiness. So now I'm going to go in with my tag black. I know in the last video I said wolf. I was an idiot. You get the creepiness. Even though I have white on, I'm taking this tag white, the little bit I have left, and I'm using it for the specular highlights on this thing. And of course, you've got to put a little highlight on the nose. Ha ha ha. Highlight all the areas where there would be light hitting. And there you go. Now this look would be great with a wig, but I don't have one. So, my deal is just doing the face painting, not really doing the wigs or the costuming to go with it. That's up to you. But if you like what you see, rate, comment, share, subscribe, do what you have to to keep up with my videos that are going to be coming out, that are going to be coming out. 
12.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every day through the month of October for the 31 days of Halloween with the 31 faces I'm creating. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Ha ha ha.